Hey guys, today I'll tie another flash fly with you, but um, we changed it a bit. Um, it's pretty similar to the one I tied before, but I just changed the um, yeah the building a little bit. I put a chunk in between. I suggest think of just figured out over the last time that the um, the hook setup is just just a bit better. And uh, therefore, I wanted to share that with a quick video. Um, so we use at the Stinger 1L. Um, it's just a partridge Stinger hook. A really good, really strong hook. Um, just can recommend it. And we tie a little bit of um, some titanium wire on top of it. Really doesn't need to be strong titanium wires, only the tail connection, you can use the thinnest one as you want. It also won't be really long, so it doesn't need to be stiff at all. You just fold the wire back through here. Just all the way in here and tie it down of course we secure it a little bit with strong thread wraps we're actually tying here with the uh, 100 denier nano silk from Semperfly a really really strong thread it's a little bit more expensive than the other thread but it keeps it definitely keeps you a lot of uh, um, it definitely keeps keeps you the look. It's a little bit more expensive than other thread, but not much. Maybe a euro. Uh, similar. I think it's a four four euros around the school, but it really won't let you down. Won't break. So it really uh, keeps the frustrating level really really low. Um, so once we secured that stinger, we take our Gulf super glue and just apply a little bit of the glue onto the thread wraps to secure it and then we get our partridge shank partridge shank 35 millimeter it is into uh, the hook and just into the vise here like that we tighten it and now we really have to <laughs> watch our hands we tie down the shank here so we close it with the thread. Um, now we put a little bit of bucktail on here, just a, a start to, to get our volume in. Just tie it down, secure it with a, a pull like that after you distributed it around the, uh, the, the shank, and then just make a few tight wraps into the material. And then you can reverse this with the reverse tool or just with your hands. And then just build a little thread down in front of it to uh, make sure it's in a nice position, maybe a bit bigger. You can secure the thread wraps in the dam here with a little bit of super glue if you want to, so the thread is not sliding down again. And then we take our Hedron Flushable Magnum Fire Tiger, just a few strings, um, as we're really short to the uh, hook, we cut it in half and kind of tie in quarters, so we cut it, we cut it in half, taper it a bit, like that, and just place it around, 
a few loose reps to catch all the fibers, tighten it, and then just fold the material back with the fingers and tie it down. Easy as that. Hope you can see that. And then, <laughs> so we tied down the first layer of bokta, a little bit of flesh glue, and uh, now we tie in some chenille. Forgot the name of it, but I put it down in the description. Uh, it's a really nice color, just like it, like an olive yellow. And we just wrap it around the shank to um, obtain the volume, but to uh, keep the fly light. So I cast this fly with my eight weight and can cast it easily on 20 meters with it. So we just wind it all the way up front. Catch the chenille with the thread again, a few wraps on top, pull it up, cut it, a few more wraps on top, like that. Take our brush and just brush it out a little bit to obtain the volume. And you see now the bucktail will lie on top of here, so we created quite a nice volume with really light and little amounts of material. So now we tie in another piece of bucktail, spin the thread a little bit counterclockwise so it's folding back to our fingers, distribute the bucktail around the shank, pull it tight, like that. And just take a pen tool, you can do it with your fingers as well. And I just tie it on top of it now, I think. It flared really nicely before, so that's fine. Just on top, just keep safe. See a little bit of thread like that, and now we take some more of the uh, fire tiger flesh glue. You really don't need much of it. This is uh, let me count it for you one, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. That's maybe 15 strands. And now we tape it a bit and just bring it on the whole length of the fly. Like that. back, try to get on top of it, doesn't work, just use a little bit of super glue, Finish it with a knot and set cure everything with a little bit more super glue. Now we need some of our 40, 45 OB pipe wire and a few of these um, 6 mm beads from Smart Doors. You can also use the Bauer beads, um, doesn't really matter. Just get them, the beads on the, on the wire. like that. Get the wire in the shank and through the beads again. And 
then release our tail and we get our main hook and this will be a Partridge Universal Predator X. It's a little bit thicker hook but really strong. Big enough or strong enough for the biggest bikes. And we just as we do with every hook, just put a little thread layer on top of it. And now it's kind of just repeating the steps that we've done on the um, um, that we've done before on the shank. So just tying the partridge wire just with a few loose wraps and now we just pull it into position like that and just secure it really tightly again and now we have uh, the hooks separated quite nicely we can see that so we have around I would say 10 centimeters between our hooks and this uh, just ensures that we have a yeah just definitely a good hook setup and um, I don't like it when you fish a stinger if they are really close to each other the chances are really high that it uh, is harming the fish by releasing it so I like to have them far away from each other if I fish a stinger hook. So we take some bucktail from the uh, butt piece of the bucktail so they flare really nicely, we don't have to reverse them. Tiger Flushable, Hedron Flushable Magnum again. A few more strengths now, maybe 20, 25. And now we taper them a bit. And I just place them all the way of the fly onto the hook shank. Just a few loose wraps and then pull it tight, and that just pulls the, uh, the Flushable evenly around the. Uh, the hook shank. And just reverse the remaining hairs with the uh, fingers and just tie it down. Same process here. And we get a clamp, get a bit out of the way. That also protects your hands from the stinger and then we tie in our chenille again move the thread forwards and just wind it around it really quickly here for the uh, head to tie in. Brush that out again. And then we take our Chatrice bucktail again. That's the last pieces of it. We really need to get a new one as well. And we 
tie it in reverse again. A few loose wraps, distribute it around the hook shank, pull it tight. Just wiggle your thread through it with some tight wraps. Don't pull them too tight if you're using a thin GSP thread, otherwise you can cut through it. And then we just reverse the material. Pull it out straight. Just form a head in front of it. Um, a little comb. Like that. It doesn't need to be too high the comb as we put a fish mask laid on here and this will put our bocktail into position anyway. So don't bother wasting too much thread here and uh, building this cone larger and larger. It will be just a waste of time. So we're just folding it back here and uh, try to get it out of the way with the hair clamp. Like that. And then go all the way to the end and form a little dubbing loop later. Now let me cut the flesh material first. So now we're using different flesh materials. We use a little bit of the uh, of the Magnum Fire Tiger again. This is just a little bit thicker and then we just mix the thin colors of the Fire Tiger as well. Um, I just didn't have it in thin so just mixing orange, yellow and chartreuse. Same effect. Just Blend it a bit. If you want, you can also mix a little bit of uh, of uh, olive in it to get the head section a little bit darker. If you want to, it can be sometimes a nice gadget. So let's grab a little bit of olive, not much, just a bit to get a little bit darker colors in it as well. And then just hold it up and then we spin it on our fingers like that. And then we can just brush it out and then it's, your hair is already mixed and you can just Fibers out on the other side. Easy as that. So, what we do now is we form a dubbing loop, go with thread around the loop to close it, and go all the way back, make a little knot here to uh, like a half inch to secure. The thread is out of the way, and then we take our Petitional dubbing twister. Just get it in here. Get a little bit of dubbing uh, wax onto in the thread. It just keeps life really much easier when you uh, tie flesh in. And just pull it tight, lift it up a bit, and just split, split the. Uh, fibers a little bit, separate them in the dubbing loop with your fingers and keep the tension up and then you can start spinning it. it out so you release the uh, trapped flesh hairs again and then we'll prove at the end if it's tight it is tight if you can't pull it out anymore it's tight enough moisture our fingers a bit as always 
and just strike the fibers back and we can move them around the uh, hook shank and while we're doing this in the loop is um, if we tie it down in the loop the fibers are pointing up 90 degrees from the um, hook shank and this gives the head just more volume and that's the reason why we're doing it in a, in a loop Catch our thread again with the bobbin, lift it up, cut it. If you rest on top of it, then you can just brush the hairs out. These are all the thread fibers. Super glue here to secure the thread and just tie a few more wraps in the glue, make a knot and cut the thread. So what we do now is we uh, form our head. And as I said before, that's what we do with the um, fish mask. Just place it on top here, like that. And um, we secure it. I just like securing my um, fish mask with a little bit of UV glue. So we're um, using here the Gulf Chartreuse, Gulf Umberland through Chartreuse. Go around it. Make sure everything is covered. Like that. Now we can just move our fish mask on top of it. Like that. Move it a bit around, make sure the uh, gulf is distributed nicely in it. And we can just secure it with that shimmering of the light. And you see how highly fluorescent this, uh, this uh, ambulance is. I just turn it off, it's just amazing. And it just made a really big difference for me the last days when fishing for pike. I uh, don't know, but they really like these um, highly fluorescent heads. I always thought it doesn't really make a difference. Um, still, I'm not pretty sure if it does, but uh, this really helped me to catch the pikes last weekend. So. I'll stick to it. So we just tie on the little wiggle tail. I'll fast forward that and then show you the uh, finished fly. So now we have our wiggle tail tied on on these uh, big flash flies. I like to use uh, big wiggle tails. This is a size XL. Finished fly here. Hope you can 
can see that. Including the tail. Probably 35 centimeters, something like that. But really light. You can still cast it with an 8 weight. Enjoy time.